guys, kind of big news for college football and a little bit of the NFL and also the running backs. Running back Leonard Fournette, the running back out of LSU, is taking out a $20 million record-breaking insurance policy on himself for this year in college, so basically for the next year's NFL draft. Now, he's one of many highlighted running backs that's supposed to be coming out of college next year into the NFL. There's six high-grade running backs for next year's NFL class, and Leonard Fournette is one of them out of LSU. He's taken out a $20 million insurance policy. It's basically two $10 million insurance policies that he had to take out, and he's taken out for himself. Um, for himself for the NFL. So if one of the insurance policies, his first $10 million insurance of policies is for if he has, is for disability. If he has anything that leads to a career ending injury. That's his first policy for $10 million. The second policy for $10 million, which totals these two equal $20 million, the second one is for if his, if he drops from his projected NFL draft stock. Now, we've seen this in many athletes. Jalen Smith was one of the people that had insurance policies in this year's NFL draft. He was a linebacker out of Notre Dame. The Cowboys drafted him in the second round. And he didn't really get to cash in on that insurance policy because the Cowboys did draft him early in the second round. But he still had a policy if he were to drop in the draft. However, this is huge because this is $20 million. Now, the Fournette fam family, I have to say family in this, right? paid $8,000 for every million dollars to cover him. So this covers him from injury in college, and basically this covers him from um, dropping high, if he drops severely in the NFL draft. He's supposed to be a projected uh, first-round pick, so if he drops, you know, he, he gets the insurance money. Now, many athletes have not been able to cash in on this, but some have. Also, Leonard Fournette, um, you know, also... What do, you, what do you guys think about this? But also, Leonard Fournette, for him to take out one insurance policy, he had to take out the other. He had to do both. He couldn't just do one. So that's also important to note. So what do you guys think about this? Also, this is very prevalent. A couple years ago, there was a cornerback selected. Um, and I'm kind of, if I can pronounce his name right, but um, his name is Ifo Ekpri. <laughs> right? He was a cornerback that had first-round, second-round talent. Think Randy Gregory. Um, for the Dallas Cowboys uh, last year in NFL's draft. But um, in Ifo's case, he was, a, was supposed to be a first round, late first round, early second round pick. However, he didn't get picked till the seventh round by the Cleveland Browns. Now, this was a few years ago. He had an insurance policy that he took out, and he got $3 million. Now, with his insurance policy, it was a smart move because basically... Um, Ekpri, he was an Oregon Duck, he suffered a ruptured ACL and dislocated patellar tendon. Those are really big injuries for any, for any college athlete, or NFL athlete for that matter. And he was smart because basically he, he fell all the way to the 7th round to the Cleveland Browns, but he did get the cash in on his insurance policy because he got $3 million. Now many colleges are starting to help out their athletes. Now in Ifo's case, the Oregon Ducks basically helped him. He basically went through Oregon's, um, Oregon Ducks Assistant Fund to actually help pay for his insurance policy. So colleges are becoming more and more aware of this. So what do you guys think about these insurance policies? But that's the latest in some college news. Running back, Len Fournette, um, great running back from LSU, $20 million, record-breaking for any college football player, football player athlete. Um, in history. There you go, guys. So what do you guys think?